Hi there. It's so great to talk to you again today. To yesterday, if you remember in math, we reviewed um, using multiplication or finding the product to a multiplication equation by using a number line. Today, we're going to practice um, a multiplication strategy for multiplying by six. Okay, so you'll notice on the screen starting out today, I have a poem for us that is going to help us think about multiplying by six. So over here, the poem says, six is pretty quick to do. Just multiply by three, then two. If this sounds like too much trouble, triple first before you double. Okay, so boy, that was a lot. Let's think about this. So down here, we have this equation that says, what is six times four? Here's what I want you to think. I want you to think of six as two groups of three, right? Two groups of three. Three plus three is six, right? So if you think about six as two groups of three, couldn't I think what I know about three times four and do that two times? Three times four plus three times four. Wouldn't that work? Let's try it and see. So if I know that three times four, can you think of that product in your head? Think of that three groups of four. I remember that in yesterday's lesson, we talked about three groups of four and thinking of four plus four is eight plus four more is 12. <gasps> okay, so if I know that three times four is 12 plus three times four, wouldn't that be 12 again? Okay, so 12 plus 12 is What's 12 plus 12? That's like a dozen eggs plus another dozen eggs. Huh. Because, you know, 12, a dozen is 12. So 12 plus 12. I've got that in your head. 12 plus 12. That's 24, right? Great job. Okay, so today, your task for today. I'm going to pull something else up on the screen that I want you to look at. So today, you're going to look at this page. It says multiply by 6. And here's another little poem for us. A group of six is clear to see when you look for groups of three. Okay, just like what we practiced. We just practiced that. All right. Three times a number plus three times a number is six times the number. Okay, so we're going to take that six and we're going to think of it as two groups of three, right? Okay, so let's look. So in this example, we have... A group, three groups of seven and three groups of seven. That makes six groups of seven, right? But I bet it's easier to think of seven plus seven plus seven. Remember that repeated addition, right? So seven plus seven. Hmm, I know seven plus seven. Seven plus seven is 14. 14 plus seven. Oh yeah, 14 plus seven is 21. Okay, so if I know seven plus seven plus seven is 21. Wouldn't seven plus seven plus seven again also be 21? Absolutely, and 21 plus 21 is equal to 42. So there's our quick way for solving. So let's look down here at the work you're going to do. So we have our first equation is six times five. So if we think of it as three times five, so that would be three groups of five, 5, 10, 15. Ooh, okay, so that's 15. I'm going to put a 15 here, okay? Plus 3 times 5, another group, 5, 10, 15. Okay, so I need to put 15 here. 15 plus 15. Hmm. If that's too hard, couldn't I think 10 plus 10 is 20 and 5 plus 5 is 10? <gasps> And 20 plus 10 is 30. Okay, so I did an example for you. You are going to work on the rest of this page. Okay, so there's your math task for today. Practicing your multiplying by six. Think of it as two groups of three. Ready? Off you go.